YouTube, what's going on, man? It's your boy Booba, and welcome back to another video on the channel. EA have released a new Joao Mario UCL Road to Knockouts card. So you know what that means. What we're going to be doing today is an SBC player review. Before we jump into it, guys, please leave a like on the video. Comment down below whether or not you're going to be completing this SBC. And also consider subscribing to the channel as we are on the road to 100 subscribers. Tell your friends, tell your family, help us get there sooner rather than later but now let's jump into the SBC player review joao mario two requirements to complete this one guys portugal and top form so let's go ahead and look at the requirements real quick so for the portugal uh squad you need a minimum of one portuguese player and then only a, a team overall rating of 82 so fairly cheap i feel like a lot of people have 82 rated cards in their club let's say if you're making it from scratch maybe 6k 7k 8k uh, if you do have the fodder in the club, but pretty, pretty cheap, maybe one to 2,000 coins to complete. And then we also have top form, which requires a minimum of one team of the week player, and then also a team overall rating of 84. So a bit more expensive, maybe 20 to 25,000 coins. Still shouldn't be too expensive. So to complete the SPC, you're looking at around 35,000 coins to get Joao Mario, which is pretty, pretty cheap looking at how good his card really is. So let's jump into his card in a bit more detail. Joao Mario, 510, medium low work rates, which is pretty decent for a center mid. He's not going to be really uh, the workhorse in the team where he's running up and down the pitch. He's kind of just going to hold his position and uh, play it like that. Preferred foot is right. Three-star skill moves, which is kind of a letdown. And then he also has four-star weak foot, which makes up for it in, a, in, in some sense. Uh, player details, he has no alternative positions, which is kind of a letdown, but that's okay. Are you really going to play Joao Mario anywhere else than center mid or center defensive mid? Probably not. And now jumping into his attribute, de attribute details excuse me, in a bit more detail, he has 81 pace with 82 acceleration and 80 sprint speed, so pretty decent for a center mid nonetheless. And then he has 80 shooting with 86 attacking positioning, 74 finishing could be a little bit higher, 88 shot power, 83 long shots, 80 volleys, and 77 penalties. So just looking at his attribute details as a whole, you can tell that uh, Joao Mario is a very well-balanced card, very close to Hulek Gang if you do put an anchor chemistry style on him. Uh, but like I said, very well-rounded. His finishing could be a little bit better. And then also his, um, what was I about to say? His shooting overall, like as a center mid, it's pretty good. He has decent long shots. Uh, moving on to his passing at 86 passing is very good and this is where I believe he excels at the most passing and dribbling so he has 86 passing overall with 87 vision fantastic 81 crossing I mean it's good are you gonna really cross with him probably not um, you're not really gonna go down the wings to cross a ball in but decent nonetheless 71 free kick accuracy doesn't really matter because you have that one free kick taker in your club anyway 90 short pass and 86 long pass is fantastic. You can really use them to distribute the ball uh, further up the pitch or just play it short in those little triangles. And then he has 79 curve, which is, I mean, doesn't really matter. Uh, and then 87 dribbling with 85 agility, very good for a center mid. 82 balance, 83 reactions, 87 ball control, 87 dribbling, and 91 composure. This card is fantastic. Looking at those passing and dribbling stats, it's one of the best in the game, honestly, at the moment. And now this is where his card kind of dips down a little bit. So he has 71 defending and 72 physical, uh, 78 interceptions, heading accuracy and defensive awareness a bit on the lower side this is where i'm saying like you can use him if you want him to be a little bit stronger defensively you can put that anchor chemistry style on him increase that defending increase that physical increase the pace a bit more and then he's going to be even more well-rounded which is fantastic um stand tackle 78 and slide tackle 71 pretty decent for a center mid i always like to say it's going to come down to your skill when you have such a good card anyway um, depending on him having 60 or 78 tackle like if you read your opponent the tackle is going to come in either way you know what I'm trying to say and then 72 physical with 68 jumping 80 stamina 71 strength and 65 aggression so not as physical of a center but definitely more technically gifted rather than one of those like workhorses and then moving on to his player traits he is a solid player a playmaker and a technical dribbler so for roughly 35,000 coins, guys, this card is absolutely brilliant. And one thing to note is uh, EA have just released the new uh, milestone objectives for the Liga Nos. So a lot of players from the Portuguese league that you can use in order to link Joao Mario into your team. So that is also fantastic. 
And then we come to the question whether or not this SPC is worth it. And for all of those reasons, the new milestone objectives, his car being so well-rounded and so affordable, is going to be a definite yes for me, guys. If you do have the fodder in the club, or if you want to grind it out a bit more, Joao Mario is a perfect card to put into your team. Uh, if he doesn't fit your team in some way, you can always bring him on off the bench. So definitely, definitely recommend doing Joao Mario. But that is going to be the end of today's video, guys. If you did enjoy, please leave a like. Comment down below whether or not you're going to be completing Joao Mario. And also consider subscribing to the channel as it would help out a lot. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Yeah, I'm Bid, your boy Booba. Peace.